Well, hello guys, this is Lynn Clark. I wanted to give you the tour for 2731. And just to let you know, any home that you may want me to do this for you, I'm more than happy to do it. I live here in Kingwood, and um, if this is not the right one for you, I want it. I want to be able to win your business and help you find the right one by doing little things like this. So here's Crystal Falls. Here is the property. Um, great landscaping, uh, great, great look to the home here. Here's the street, and if you follow the street all the way down, it just makes a U and comes back out to the street that's at the, at the end of here. So at that stop sign up ahead, where that car just drove by, is where it kind of loops around to. If you go right at that stop sign, you go towards the elementary school, and it really literally only takes you like two minutes to get there. If you go to the left, there's a street one block over, and I'll take you to um, basically HEB and, and Westlake Houston and all the shopping and everything. Um, if you wanted to, you could take a right and then another right on Forest Garden and be there at Westlake Houston and everything as well. So it's a really good uh, location. At the end of the street, at the cul-de-sac, is a uh, bike trail as well as a bike trail um, at the end of the street over here. So um, here is the driveway. Sorry, the sun's kind of bright there. But here is the driveway. It does get to be big enough for two cars to park side by side, as well as a two car garage. So you're looking good with that. Um, so let's go tour the home. All right, here's the front entryway. And when you step in, you have a little bit of a foyer, um, stairs that lead up to the game room and three bedrooms. To the right is the formal dining room. However, the previous owners used this, or landlords, they actually used this as an office. And then here, to the left of the door, is uh, like a formal family opened up to the actual family room. Um, they used this whole section as living space. Um, the landlord loved this space because these windows here, you can always keep an eye on the older kids while they're swimming. So it just made it, it made it great. So no matter where she was, unless she was in her office, she was able to pretty much watch, watch the kids and check out the back patio. That's just, that's their favorite part. That's where they like to hang out and have a lot of fun. Um, before I go into the kitchen, I wanted to show you a side door that leads out to the driveway and the garage, as well as the half bath. And then washer and dryer and another door out to the back. Uh, washer, dryer stay, refrigerator stays, which is a huge blessing. Not every rental home allows that. So here is the kitchen. Um, we have a gas range, which is really nice. Double ovens. And then, check this out. It is a nice, big, huge pantry. It may not be walk-in, but it is a lot of space. And each door has this partitioning on it for storage and stuff. And then here's the nice refrigerator as well. And it's an automatic light, so when the store closes, the light goes off. Um, here is the coffee bar. So if you like entertaining and you want to put your, your Keurig or what have you out here, and yeah, you can do your wine as well. Um, that's a great spot for it. And then here's some nice built-ins. That's a really neat feature in this community. It's not something that you see in newer homes all the time. Here's the master room or master bedroom. I guess we don't call them primary, so forgive my, uh, my my habit of calling it master. It's just the primary bedroom. Um, owner's retreat, there we go. And then here we go, we got uh, a bath here. Hello. A shower here. And then two sinks, nice big mirror. Um, this is where I do my best thinking. My wife says that's where I do all my stinking. Sorry, bad joke, dad joke, dad alert. 
Um, nice walk-in closet. And same on this side. And the, and the lights actually turn on automatically again. So that's cool. So um, good space in here. Um, my joke for the husbands is every time I go show a home to a wife, uh, they look at their husband and says, well, this is enough space for me. Where are you putting your things? <laughs> so I'm like, oh no. So hopefully, hopefully you got some space. Hopefully she doesn't make you stay here with your clothes in the hallway closet that's underneath the stairs. <laughs> it's not a lot of space, but it's, it's, it's nice for a little extra storage. Uh, let's go ahead and head upstairs. The carpets are new. We just laid them in a couple weeks ago. So that's nice. And um, here's the upstairs game room. It's a good size area for playing and having fun. Um, the kids, this was the kids space for the other, um, for the owners actually. Um, nice built-ins. Here's a, a look at the backyard and the pool. So here's bedroom two. If we need to do something about the paint, I think we can work something out. Um, it may come out, uh, you, you may have to pay for the material or what have you, but they're flexible and making it nice for you, especially if it's a longer term uh, lease. But here's the two sinks, um, bath shower combo, uh, the throne room, and then bedroom uh, three, I guess this would be. Walk-in closet with uh, built-in cabinets, which is really nice. Um, nice window. And then in here is bedroom four. Another walk-in closet. Check that out. And built-ins. Really nice. And then here's another bathroom. Um, sorry. There you go. Another bathroom here. And uh, this would be used as a guest bathroom. Should you have other kids up over their playing, they just go in here and use that and they don't have to go into anyone's bedroom. But here you go. Check out the neighbors and the pool in the backyard. And which we're going to right now. Um, as I said before, if, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm happy to do this for you for any homes that you might see in the area that you'd like to see. Um, I want to win your business and try to help you make a very smooth transition to the area. Um, I've moved a lot, like I said, on the phone, so I'm totally, totally get the situation. Um, so here's the patio. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Um, the table will stay and it's just nice and peaceful it's about well, what time is it i want to say it's like six o'clock six thirty um and this is what it is sand creek is one of the best neighborhoods in my opinion in kingwood i live in foster's mill next door um, but sand creek fared pretty much all the rain and all the bad storms very well only a small percentage of homes flooded, um, but 